this thing? It's a new thing there that wasn't there before. Click on it. Hooray! Now you see a bunch of people and stuff. Let me explain each and every one to you. You'll be able to trade your cards for points. Points let you get other cards or other things that are cool. Like this card sleeve. Get one if you get enough credits. Yay! Points! Credits! Whatever they are! I lied! They're not points, they're called credits! Whatever! Anyways, each of your cards is worth a different amount of credits, and if you give them to this guy, you can trade- If you have the Librarium, you could summon a free snack coupon and trade them in, but I don't have the Librarium on Skype because he sucks! Anyways, so that's what he does. Now, click on this robot guy! Click on him now! Okay, now let's explain the game! Alright, so you pick your card and you put it in rank 1. Different cards do different things. Hover over the cards and see what they do. Pick a card. He'll go into rank 1. Your opponent won't see what card you picked until they put down their card. Yay! Hover over their card to see what their card does. Based on that, you can form different strategies of attack. Or you can just click on cards randomly like Skype will do you. Look at him click on random cards! Hooray! He doesn't know what he's doing! Cause he's a stupid adventurer! Once you have all your cards, the rounds will go off automatically! You get to see the different cards dance around! Isn't it fun? Also, you can fast forward or pause if you want to! Fast forwarding makes it go faster! Pausing pauses it! And playing doesn't pause it anymore! It's pretty simple to understand, but I had to explain it because without giant arrows, you're an idiot! Let's see who wins in this game! Fast forward! Yay! You've won! Congratulations! Don't you feel good about yourself now? If you had lost, you would suck and have to shoot yourself in the foot! Because you're a loser! Anyways, if you want to play other people, click here and you can play other people! You can risk cards or not risk cards depending upon what you want to do! Alright, so let's play a game with somebody and risk a card. Alright, we're playing this loser named Mega Man Rocks. He sucks. We're gonna kill him. Yay! If you run out of time, the game will play a card randomly automatically for you. That's bad. Don't do that. Now we're going to beat this Mega Man Rocks with our awesome cards. While we wait, nothing happens. Oh, at the bottom you'll see what cards you're risking. He's risking this one, and you're risking the one on the left. Pretty simple, right? But I had to explain it anyways, because you're an idiot! Shut up, you stupid bird! What are you doing here? I don't know. What am I doing here? Go away! I'm explaining how to play this game! Oh, alright. Look at that shiny card! That's a rare! If you get lots of rares, you're cool! And if you don't, you suck! Alright, we've placed all our cards! Mega Man's gonna place his last card! And we'll see who wins! It will be me because I'm awesome! Watch him go and fight each other! Why is he beating me? What's going on? No, this is impossible! It's not possible! No! He's cheating! He's cheating! He's a cheating cheater! Report him now! Use the giant arrow to report him! No, I'm just kidding. You can't report anybody because there's no way to cheat in this game! It just means that he's better than you! <laughs> What did you do? I shot myself in the foot like you said. Oh, I was joking! 